Well, across from Dublin and Munster, they still talk about the famous 1978 win over the All Blacks. Now, the Irish club team has done it again, this time beating the Wallabies for a fourth time. The referee trying to separate them. Punch has been thrown everywhere. But... Munster's home of Limerick is a tough town. Just ask the Wallabies, who got mugged. It's kicked off again. The Australian reserves fancied their chances more. There was some rugby played, although little running, in cold and blustery conditions, with kicking the order of the night, watched by the obligatory silent Munster crowd. It's a moving target from Warwick, but he struck it really well, and the fans like it. The irony? Aussie-born Munster first five, Paul Warwick, kicked all 15 points. In the conditions, though, Warwick's kicking would have made David Beckham proud. Decent strike. The wind's pushed it. Munster did push their lead with the wind past the seven-point buffer in the second half. Warwick drop goal attempt. Warwick caught it very well. Straight between the posts. In the end, two yellow cards didn't help the Wallabies' chances, and they didn't adjust to the conditions. Fronting for Munster, former All Blacks Doug Howlett and Sam Tuitupo with typical barging runs, as well as new recruit Canterbury prop Peter Borlase. After being pipped at the post by the All Blacks two years ago, Munster making no mistake about it. For the 15-6 win, celebrations will be long and hard.